All right, all right, guys, here we go. Oh my goodness. And just like that, I don't even get to introduce it. We get right into a tough full card with Mark Jolavi and Dan. So this should be interesting. I've been going skip Sapphire or Glide Sapphire here, but I think, actually, I think I'm still going to go skip Sapphire here. I don't need to get it all the way up there, but I want a little farther than the glide can get me. At least I got a nice big skip. Should keep me away from the fence enough to just plan on the water skip. Full power. Oh man, Dan. Oh no, Aaron. Gosh, you idiot. Can't believe I did that. Man, oh man. Can't believe I did that. Just a little too, this might not even get there. Just a little too low, man, and I hit the fence, so. We're gonna start off down a couple strokes. Not a good way to start. Oh, I got the birdie. For some reason, I thought I was getting par there. I almost wanted to do what Dan, Dan did after that. <clears throat> Such a bad mistake. All right, so we've got a big three wind here. I'm going to go with my kind of old school shot here and aim nice and low with the roll sapphire. Put a disc of hyzer on it. Hopefully it doesn't hit off the basket and into the water. Luckily it didn't do that. And we're going to get the birdie here. Looks like Mark stayed on the bridge, so he got his birdie. So still down by one to Mark. Still kicking myself for that first hole. Got to be careful with that wall. I'm used to being a little farther away from it. Um, but I wanted to get a little closer that time because of that wind. And I just didn't kind of adjust for that fence. I'm going to go glide turn here. Make sure I put some hyzer. The last thing you want to do is miss to the right on here. This is cutting it close, but it should oh, get through those bushes, please. No, that is not what I wanted. So the best way to get through these that I found, oh, I'm not sure if the, hopefully this skips enough. We're gonna go skip Sapphire. And hopefully we get enough distance here. Oh, we do, we might be able to save Birdie here. A little long, but I had to make sure I got across. That's a tough spot to get out of, so that's the best way I've found to get out of there. We got 84 feet, not much wind. Get down. Oh, oh my goodness. That one had my heart racing a little bit. I got lucky there. So that's a really lucky birdie. Kind of a bad break off the tee to end up there, but it does happen, so it's nice to have kind of an exit for me there I'm gonna go glide turn again I'm gonna go a little lower just so I can make sure I turn this enough and hopefully oh good I've been really struggling with this hole lately god that scared me too but we got that to go and we save our birdie and Mark misses his birdie so we're tied at the top See if we can keep this round going now, even with that, that mistake on one. I feel like I've been scrambling ever since, but we're tied with Mark. Let's see what we want. I'm going to go light glide here. Tempted to go glide turn. I think, I think it's going to have enough distance. I'm going to aim a little higher, but I'm just pull almost straight down. Don't want to turn it too much. I'd rather miss a little left than too far right. That's gonna be just fine. See, a, kind of a tough wind here, tough spot, but I'm sure everyone's used to throwing from a spot like this, 313, and go with the Vandal. Take just a tad, oh no, no, no. Oh my gosh, Aaron, and I give that stroke right back. Oh, I'm not even going to go for that. Jeez, that was horrible. How do you do that bad on that shot? 
Uh, I was kind of in between this on that. That's a bummer. You get it and then you give it right back. So now I'm tied with Jalavi again. And down a stroke to Mark. Man, oh man. Ah, oh, do I go for it? I really want to. And I'm going to. Should be able to get there in this wind. Looks good so far. I'm not going to stay at the top though, so hopefully I don't... I didn't get a bad roll out of bounds, so I'll take that. I'm safe. I have a look for Eagle, so I'm not complaining at all. I like to go forehand here, just a little little better miss. 119. Let's see if we can get this to go. Oh, man. Short and left. That was not a good good attempt there. I can usually get it a little closer than that one. And two, two big mistakes are really costing me here. Mark's in, in first place right now, so this is my chance to knock him down a little bit, but that is a hard thing to accomplish. I'm going to go roll Sapphire here. Looks like I put too much hyzer on it. Dang it. That's going to really decrease my chances of making this. That was a big mistake too, because now if Jalavi makes this, I'm gonna go with the harp. Oof, just missed that. Playing for birdie there the whole time. And I was just glad neither of them made it. Staying alive, still two holes to go. It'd be nice to get a stroke somehow on both of them. But we're running out of holes, so this might be my chance here. Got a one wind. I'm going to go for it, just kind of give it a soft bid, aim kind of high and put a bunch of, put some flex on this. Last thing I want to do is miss it to the left and long. Come on back, come on back. This has a chance if it's long enough. Yes, yes, nice ace. I don't get that one very often, but I definitely picked the right time to do so. Man. All right, Aaron, don't screw this up on the very next hole like last time. All right, glide, skip, drive. A little bit of wind to the from left to right. Looks like it's gonna make it all right. It's cutting it close. Okay, Whew. that one had me nervous too. Mark looks like he got through just fine, so not gonna be beating Mark. But man, I'm okay with that. Made some couple big mistakes that are hard to overcome and you usually can't get away with those when you're playing these guys. So I'll take that tied for first and it should get me four points, maybe only three. But uh, let's take a look at Joe Lobby's bag. No gold ring, so he's obviously gonna be missing a slot there as you can see. He's got the Hope Accurate Heavy with the Accurate Glide Pure. So the Hope Pure combo, you don't see that too often. The Fuse and the Warship, both Windbreak. The Saint. Don't see a lot of saints out there. The roll musket, popular disc there. The glide roll rive, the glide turn rive, the light glide rive, and the glide skip rive. So the four rives there, and then he's got the water skip rive. The glide sapphire, and then he goes with the, the roll stiletto. Interesting bag, but always fun competition. And you all know how good Mark is. I was able to take two points from him there that he would have otherwise got with my awesome ace take that any day let's take a look at the leaderboard i wasn't going to say anything i didn't want to jinx myself but i just re reached a new season high so let's see where that gets us it's gonna be my last round i'm excited i just got off work so i'm tired but still stoked for today we got my daughter's soccer game coming up and then we got ufc 300 i'm a huge ufc fan so i can't wait to watch all those fights Justin Gaethje from my hometown in Arizona. It's awesome to watch him and just going to be cheering him on, of course. So Mark's at 10-10 right now. I'm kind of pulling away. Andy had the lead for most of the season, but Mark said it's time. Daniel, 975. Henrik at 972. There's Reese, Starman, Valentin, Marcolini, Smooth. Look at that. 
Tenth place all by myself, man. I'll take it. Now, if only I could stay there. But definitely pleased with how the night went. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend watching some Masters, watching some UFC, or just doing whatever it is that you enjoy doing. As always, guys, appreciate the love, appreciate the support, and thanks for watching me play some DGV.